Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of season 2 of Princess Connects. Let's go ahead and get started. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. In 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Oh damn, we're not even getting to open it today. We're just going right off. Like, oh my god, where's Peckerine? Well, you know, Peckerine's a little under the weather. She has her own shit to deal with right now. Not the greatest. Now the thing is, poor Carol doesn't even know that her gift was the thing that summoned her. Yeah, but what else could you do? Oh, damn, that thing got there too quickly. Uh, no. Okay, so what exactly? Oh! Yeah, their actual lives. Yeah, you know, just having a little premonition, you know, dream like thing. It's okay. Just a normal Tuesday, you know. Maybe because of the fact that she was a former shadow herself. I mean, because she is unique. Because of the fact is she went from shadow to human, so...
I just cannot wait until the day when they find out about Carol and such. Like, the fake princess, she's going to come up, and then she's going to be like, isn't that right, Carol? And everyone's going to be like, oh! <laughs> and I'm be here like, oh, shit. Because her double life it is coming closer together. And so it's like, mm, y'all ain't going to make it out of this alive, baby. the hell? It's Chris. Right? Aw, Yuki. Okay. Don't give up, baby. Oh, God. Mm hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen? Oh no! Come on now! See, I hate myself sometimes. I really do. Damn it!
Also heading towards the town. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, he's like, he might die. Hmm? She always comes in at the right fucking times. See how pretty that fucking water is? Ooh. That's some good anime water. <laughs>
But damn, I never would have fucking thought. See, that just makes me hungry, and I don't even think I'm going to be able to eat like a white-ass dinner. It's only 10.15. <laughs> I've been chilling ever since I got home, because I was like, I need to record this before I go to bed. <laughs> See, I feel like the, the final battle between these two isn't going to happen until the conclusion of this season. Then I feel like season three, we're finally going to get into like that quote unquote second arc with the new villain. Because see, like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. But I think like, of course, Japanese version has been out longer. So definitely like probably on like their season two or season three for their story. Oh. 
Are they seriously gonna make an arm? So, uh, okay. I'm guessing so. She's okay. See? No. <laughs> Stop, you're making me cry. <laughs> I'm tearing up too. <laughs> God. That was so cute. Even though we lost Kitty. But still, we're Kitty. Yeah, I bet it works for her. I mean, okay, all right. So what what I think is interesting about this episode that we finally get to see with Yuki, like, I didn't like seeing him dying in his past life. Like, that was really messed up, but at the same time, we did need that context and such to know how bad it had gotten and how we're trying not to prevent that timeline once again and such. Like, seeing him get stabbed and all of his blood just gushing out like no mm -mm. like I wanted to cry so bad but I was like I don't want to cry no 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 I'm not gonna cry I'm just gonna get emotional but I'm not gonna cry today <laughs> um but having seeing him have like the memory uh or Kitty's memories and such indicating that yes Kitty was an actual real life girl and related to what's her face because from the game and when this is when I was still like really playing it for the first time and getting really into it when you're looking at like the backstories of these girls and you get to see like the two different versions of them the version in the game and then they're like humanoid version to see how different it is because okay i'll give you an example like there's one girl that i really really like um besides peckering she her she has pink hair um and she hasn't been in the show yet, funny enough, because I'm waiting for the damn day until she is. Now, like, another one of my personal favorites who was in Yuki's former team, um, she had blue hair, and she had, like, little devil horns, and she was always, like, the one with the sword. I just cannot remember her name. But 
in this version, she's dead. And I, I'm still fucking surprised about that shit. And of course, she's voiced by like my favorite Sayu of all time. Um, her her real life counterpart is very different. I don't remember what it looks like, but the other girl in her real life version, she has blonde hair and such. So it seems like we're getting the real memories of them as humans before whatever possibly happened for them to be in this situation. I don't really know. It's still a lot of unanswered questions with the connection of how we're connecting this to the game and such. So maybe they'll give us something in the next few weeks. I'm really kind of hoping and expecting it, especially with this this situation of Kitty and what she's what's gonna happen with her, this ending, what does that mean? Especially with the fact that what's her face's body is now with, you know, the fake princess quote unquote and what she's about to do with her body and such. It like I said a lot of unanswered questions, but of course we're not going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of season 2 of Princess Connect. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday slash Tuesday for episode 6. Bye, guys.